I got to looking at it and uh, I got it reset and I noticed these are real dirty. But I'm gonna try and get the light to turn on. Off. I'm going to try and get the light to turn on on my camera here. I want to show you guys how plugged this evaporator is. And this is why we always get multiple offenders and we always have to check the whole system. But this is a dead giveaway right here. Dead giveaway. Let me see if I get the light to turn on. I don't know if you can see back there, but there is no evaporator fins. Oh yeah, there's a view through those. plugger dude so I gotta get together with this guys this is a little wine box I gotta drop this pan and do a mega cleanup and it's gonna be totally filthy rotten dirty um, that's gonna be my short little video for today And another thing that was given away was the frost pattern on the on the return bands was just like, look. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but it's like frost and crystals. It's a big deal. I got all my visqueen and my, I got my drain pan dropped. You can see how dirty the coil is. Ah, a little bit. Nah, look up there. Look how dirty it is. Oh yeah. Plug. Just can't even get through. Yeah, we're not getting any airflow. So I'm going to get the shop vac. We'll pull all these fan blades. I'll, I'll wash those in the mop sink. And then we'll vacuum out this coil. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's going to go down right here. Let's get these shined up for you guys. Just a couple things. Um, you want to have a, I got my headlight on. You want a headlight so you can see what you're looking at up there when you're cleaning. Um, I've been using these Bomb Raider safety goggles. The dust will go in your eye if you don't put some eye protection on. Um, and then I usually use my shop vac for sucking water. So you want to make sure you got your filter on there for sucking out the dust. Look, there goes the water. That's why we got all this plastic down here all right let me get you set up here that's just a couple things you need if you're going to do it and, and of course the or we'll use the coil brush with it too and i think i got an attachment yeah i got this attachment vacuum attachment right here i'll use this with my coil brush 
Let's try and clean up the mess as best we can. funny because i've worked on this box before and shame on me i didn't catch it but i caught it the other day so yeah i was gonna say i've never finally. seen i've never seen it clean in the 13 years i've been here yeah so finally <laughs> finally i'll get this sucker we'll get her work it's gonna work so much better fuck yeah that'll be cool because it's nice and cool in here when it gets hot out you go in here and stock wine and hell yeah i get a little chill. time out yeah do some wine stocking i like that a nice and chill area
actually see the fans now, just from the fan guards being cleaned out. And we got tons of airflow. You know, even though it's a low, if these are low flow coils, you can see the sign moving and stuff now. Moving some air. That was a dirty bugger. Super dirty. We're all cleaned up. I gotta pick up my mess and uh, carry on. But yeah, that's a super duper dirty coil. Super duper.